Today we are getting ready to finish up our oil pastel project by wrinkling our paper, making it feel almost like a fabric, and painting it with a very watered down black acrylic paint. So here we go. Have a piece of newspaper um, or so that I don't get my table dirty with paint. I have a tissue and a paper towel. I'm not sure which one is going to work best, but both just in case. I have some very watered down acrylic black paint, and I have my artwork. So this is one of the pieces that I did. And as you notice, my spaces are pretty equal. They're all fairly thin. They're not super thick, also not pencil thin. And then I did a second piece just to kind of test and play around to see if the black acrylic would fill in things that I wanted black. So these are some big spaces that I wanted to be black. Um, and I also colored some of the areas a little lighter because I wanted some black mixed in with the oil pastel. So this is really just kind of a test piece to see if it works or not. But what we're gonna do, our next step is to simply take our paper and wrinkle it up. So we're gonna crumple, 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 crumple. I'm gonna ball it up. Some of your colors are going to get on each other. Don't worry about that. I'm going to squish it as hard as I can. I'm going to open it up. Try your best to not tear the paper. I just tore my out a little. So you do have to be a little careful with this. Then I'm going to crumple, crumple, crumple again. I want my wrinkles in another spot. So I'm going to crumple again. And you notice it's going to get on your hands a little. Don't panic about that either. Okay. And so we're going to open it up and flatten it again. Crumple again if you need to. Flatten. Make big wrinkles, little wrinkles. You want lots of wrinkles so that it's almost like a fabric feel to it more than a paper feel. Once we get it, Wrinkle as much as we want. We're going to flatten it out as best we can without smearing the colors. I'm not moving my hands when I push down. I'm just pushing down. If I do want to move my hands, I can flip it over on my newspaper and then spread. That way it doesn't smear stuff out of me. And you notice, like I said, I have a few tears in my paper, and that's okay. You can always glue these down to another sheet of paper when we're done and they're dry. Okay, so once we have it wrinkled and crinkled, we're just going to take a paintbrush and our very watered down acrylic black paint, and we're going to paint. We're going to do this in small sections, and don't panic about covering all of your pretty colors up, because once we get this on, I'm just going to do one paintbrush full. Just kind of dab in it. I brush a little, dab a little. I'm going to put my paintbrush down and get my paper towel that I have set to the side. And I'm going to dab it off so that I can see my color. So the black paint is going to fill in the wrinkles that I made as well as the lines that I left. And if it's not dark enough for you, you can simply go back over it. And so that is simply the process. I'll just continue on. I'll take my paint and my brush and I will paint the areas that I haven't yet. If I want to go darker, I'll probably paint the whole picture first and dab it off small sections at a time. And then I'll come back and maybe try and put some extra paint just in the lines like this and then dab that. And the more layers of that black we have on, the darker the black is going to be. That's pretty much it. Once you're finished with your whole piece of art, you're going to place it on your drying mat and on the drying rack. And wet and dry, clean up your messes. That's all, guys.